workshop on automated certification creation and emailing held on zoom platform here to call order at 7 11 pm let us now all rise for jci creed we believe that faith in god gives meaning and purpose to human life that the brotherhood of man transcends the sovereignty of nations that economic justice can be best won by free men through free enterprise that government should be of laws rather than of men that earth's great treasure lies in human personality and that service to humanity is the best work of life thank you now i take the pleasure of introducing our trainer today yeah and before that i take the privilege and the chair recognizes zone director programs jc rajesh kumar we learning and zone director training jc sindura thadi welcome welcome to the training program now i take the pleasure of introducing jfm s ravikant reddy garu he joined jci on 21st january 2013 after serving in various positions in lo he became president in 2017 he served the zone as a zone coordinator awards and social media in 2018 and in 2021 as a zone ambassador technical guidance he is an ardent believer of jci's principles and its vision he works in the sustainability sector where he brings together corporates ngos and governments through various initiatives for sustainable community development professionally he leads the csr and sustainability initiatives of clean grid limited he actively works with various ngos and has started mecons mother earth environmental consciousness society in 2011 educate engage and empower people to lead a sustainable life he is he has explored and is proficient in various aspects of sustainability he is an indian green building council accredited professional ecbc expert and a cii certified expert in carbon footprint and life cycle impact assessment he is also a passionate trainer who reached the pinnacle of jci india training ladder by becoming a jci india author in 2019 he is the only trainer from zone 4 who designed one empowering youth and one future module for jci india in 2020 he has also created the module for jcom and has been crucial in promotion of iconic trainers contest held by jci india skill development committee in 2021 he is well known for taking jci courses ea eps capp active citizen framework and awards orientation seminar he believes in being resourceful and in his efforts to make jci lam officers more productive have created various resources that are available to all through various source including jci resources.com he is a tech savvy and have organized many sessions on empowerment through technology he is someone who follows what he preaches he walks the talk he envisions a clean green and sustainable vision strives and contributes to that vision through his personal life professional life and voluntary activities let's welcome this sustainability freak passionate trainer and an and an admirable leader jfm s ravikant reddigaru i kindly request you to take the floor sir 
Thank you. Thank you very and much. And special uh, recognitions for JCI author Varaprasad Garu also, who is here among us. We are privileged, sir. Ravikant Reddy Garu, please take the floor. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Prabhakar Garu. Uh, just uh, to confirm, uh, is my screen uh, in the right orientation or is it in the mirror orientation? Is is it any any feedback from any of you, please? It's right, sir. It's clear. Yeah, it's right. Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you, uh, everyone. Uh, so, yes. So today's session is uh, going to be on creating uh, certification certificates, basically, and uh, we are going to discuss on how to automate it. So we are going to explore uh, two tools, basically. But uh, I will be explaining in detail only one tool. Um, you will also understand why I mean when why I am going to explain only one tool, not the other tool, as you uh, go through the presentation. So let me quickly share the presentation. Yes. So automated certification creation and emailing. So certificates is something that uh, we use often in our uh, lives, especially considering the JCI scenario, where uh, we would like to give away certificates to officers or participants who are participating in any of our events. So uh, it, it, it becomes a very good appreciation tool uh, from, for the officers as well as members, for the LOs as well. So, but however, uh, we see that many times we have some challenges like, suppose uh, there is a training program where you have 50 participants. So typically we get all those 50 printed and then uh, someone has to write them and it's a challenge to find someone who has a good writing to write on the certificate. So these kind of challenges are there. Where that is where uh, this automation can come into picture. So when this automation comes into picture, it becomes more easy for everyone to handle certificates, even if they are multiple number. And more or less, moreover, once the certificates are out, they will be much more, uh, what do you say, appealing, appealing to the participants because they will be customized based on their personal information. So we will just have a look at how it is done, what are the different tools, and then we will practically, I will also showcase you uh, by designing one uh, process. I will show you one process of how to do it. So once uh, this is done, uh, everybody is free to uh, pose questions. Uh, you can also pose questions in the middle of the uh, middle of the session. You can just raise your hand. Uh, I can see the screen. If I if at all I don't uh, recognize someone who has raised hands, request someone to unmute and just uh, tell me so that I don't skip any questions in the middle. Okay. With that. Uh, so when will we need certificates? There are multiple things, uh, especially this kind of setup. Uh, the setup that I'm going to show you now, uh, this is especially true for uh, quizzes. So whenever we organize quiz, um, we need to give out certificates to participants based on whether they have performed well in it or not. Like if they have crossed up a particular benchmark, then uh, they are, uh, they are, we can issue certificates. So such kind of benchmarks can also be set here. So that also uh, we, we will get to see. And then event certificates, suppose today you, you all are attending. Suppose we want to give certificates to all of you. So instead of, uh, I cannot uh, keep you e emailing to each and everyone, that will take a lot of time. And if I want to put time to create each of your certificate, then I have to edit each and every single certificate. That will take a lot of time and effort. So instead of it, you can use the process that we are going to showcase today so that our certificates will be automatically generated to all the participants. And then issue certificate one certificates once in a while. This was actually the initiation. Uh, just to briefly tell you how this started off, uh, I got a call from uh, Sindura Garu uh, just a few days back that uh, uh, that uh, she would like to give over certificates to officers or uh, LO presidents uh, or whoever is participating or actively taking part in uh, training, such kind of thing. Uh, so she wanted me to tell uh, how to do that. So, because in the in the past I have done this, uh, I will also show you uh, what we have done in the past. So, so she approached me. So I said, yes, uh, definitely we can do. Uh, we can have a one-to-one uh, -one Zoom call where I can explain you. Uh, but then I thought, uh, okay, if more people get to know this, because uh, just like her, other uh, others might also be exploring for such thing. So I said to her, okay, uh, let us, uh, uh, it would be better if we have at least uh, three to four more people so that they might also ask questions, uh, which we have never thought of, which will actually make the session much more useful and beneficial for everyone. 
so she said okay let us go ahead and uh, let us plan it as an event so that is how uh, it became an actually an event which is actually supposed to be a one to one session so uh, we, which is really good uh, so that because so many people are participating now and uh, i am sure in the q and a we will have some good questions so that uh, this will become much more beneficial for everyone so that's how it has come and these are some just some instances where certificates are required so when it comes to technical part and uh, believe me uh, though it looks like a little complicated thing but it is not actually complicated once you do it even if you do it a uh, single time you will be really convenient with it it is really as easy as um, i don't know if you have worked with google forms or if you have uh, um, created a word document it is as or if you created a powerpoint slide it is as easy as that so it's only about following a few steps and by the way we, uh, this session is being recorded so once the session is done the recording link will also be the recording will be uploaded to jc wise uh, youtube and the link will be shared in all the groups so you are free to refer refer to it any time in the future whenever you need it so these are the things that we are going to touch upon so one is uh, we will be touching upon google forms so i am not going into detail when it comes to google forms uh, because this is only one component uh, i will only go into detail on the other part i will tell that also in a little while and then google slides also we will be touching a little and then google drive so these three things we will be touching only very briefly because i am not going into details because each of it can itself be a single session so i will just briefly touch them uh, because these are the essentials for uh, getting uh, this process done and then i am going to talk about two things one is certify m so this is the add on this is an add on for google workspace google workspace is nothing but g suite uh, it was previously used to be called as g suite G Suite is nothing. Uh, all the apps that are there in Google, they are together bundled together, and it is a commercial uh, thing that you can uh, hire from Google. So you can pay some amount to hire uh, a professional Google Workspace account. So otherwise, it is also available for general Google uh, users also, like anybody who has a Gmail account, uh, they can also use this Google Workspace. But there are some limitations. We will also get to know what are the limitations later on. so certify m is one add on similarly there is a second add on which is called autocrat so both these add ons uh, we are going to look into it but uh, as i said i am going to explain in detail only autocrat certify m is also a very good tool but it has its own limitations it is not a free tool it is a free tool but with some limitations whereas autocrat is a completely free tool okay so just to see the differences between certify m and autocrat and also a little uh, uh, background here uh, certify m is the add on which i uh, previously used when i wanted to create multiple certificates uh, but then today i got to know that uh, the uh, previously it used to be a free version so there were no restrictions so it was working fine but now from october 2020 uh, it has been made commercial also so the free version has some limitations so that is why i explored in the morning and came to know that there is another tool called autocrat which is a free, a free tool so i found that that is much more uh, beneficial to us than certifyum so we are going into detail and explaining about autocrat not the certifyum if anybody wants certifyum also we can do that but in a, some other session or if we have time in the end we can also have a look at it okay and coming to the differences between certify m and autocrat like i said here the, we have two add ons certify m and autocrat so we are going to look at the differences between both of them to understand why i am going with autocrat and not certify m so certify m uh, like i said paid version has been introduced in october 2020 so it's uh, it has a free version but free version has limitations so free version what what limitations so whenever you are generating any certificate using a free version at the bottom you will have something uh, a watermark kind of thing bottom right which says made for free with certify m so that particular uh, watermark will be there on all the certificates that will be generating using the free version so if that is okay for you even you can use certify them certify m sorry so and uh, we have only three merge tags later on in the session you will get to know what is merge tags so there are only three merge tags in case of certify m free version 
and then we we have gold and platinum versions which are uh, like usd 4 4 dollars per month and 8 dollars per month and uh, user interface is good certify m uh, when you use it it is very user friendly and uh, it is more easy to use compared to autocrat but autocrat has its own advantages like i said it is a free software so you need not pay anything or there are no limitations unlike uh, certify m so there is no watermark also so all the certificates that you design you won't get any any watermark on when you're sending it to your recipients and uh, merge tags you can create multiple merge tags uh, this you will understand when we go into the process and then uh, ui is a little lower than certify m but still it is okay uh, it, it is worthy to use uh, however integration is very easy that also you will get to know when we are doing the process so this is one of the reasons why i am going with autocrat i'm going to explain this add on completely to you uh, so that uh, by the end of the session you will understand how to create this process so that you can generate certificates automatically okay and then uh, apart from this uh, autocrat has two other tags special tags which are called today and now so when uh, we are going through the process you will understand how uh, we can use how we can use these tags okay but this is the limitations as far as add on is concerned but there is one limitation from google because as you see all the all the process is using google so these are add ons of google workspace we are going to use google slides we are going to use google forms we are going to use google drive so because of this uh, google has set on, uh, set up some uh, limitations uh, for these add ons and that limitation is you can create only 100 certificates per day so even if there is a request of 101 it won't be it won't go through after 100 after 100 certificates are generated the add on will not work for that day it will only work on the next day so this is only a tool which you can use if you have to generate certificates less than 100 in a day but otherwise uh, i am going to share you one example where uh, we did almost i think 3200 certificates in a single day they will explain you how we did it and then uh, the second uh, second option is if you have a google workspace account like i said google workspace is a commercial version of the, uh, just like uh, certify m has a paid version similarly google also has a paid version which is called google workspace account and for this the limitation is 1500 certificates per day so if you cross 1500 you won't be able to send through even a professional google workspace account and this is this workspace account it starts at around 125 rupees per user per month so as a but but the challenge here is you have to show some business a proof of uh, your own business when you are going for google workspace account so those who are interested and who you who think that it is worth for you to invest and take google workspace account or certify m uh, professional uh, gold or platinum account that is a call you can take but this is to just to tell you what are the limitations uh, for using this process because whatever we are going to do today it's going to be free so that is the reason why we have some limitations so some things to take care uh, because we are going to use uh, google slides so and google slides before doing google slide we will create a presentation in uh, microsoft powerpoint so when we create generally what happens is uh, when we create a certificate template in a powerpoint we tend to use different kinds of fancy fonts because that that will make the certificate look more better and elegant but what will happen is once you import this into google slide all those fancy fonts may not work so then what will happen is it will get replaced with some of the nearest fonts in google slides so that is one thing you have to take caution whatever final editings you have to do you have to do it in google slides you will also see it in the process when i am doing it and the second thing is ensure that long names are also taken care of this also i will explain during the process so that it is more easy for you to understand them so there are basically four steps in it so one is first we need to create a google form creation so before going into the actual process and showcasing you how to do that uh, let me tell you how it works what is the flow so what happens is uh, this is with respect to autocrat okay so when you are submitting you are creating a google form everybody know i i, I hope everybody knows google form uh, google form is nothing but a form you can create very simply using the google google forms 
uh, where you can submit some fields like your name, complete name, your mobile number, email ID, whatever you want, you can create a form. And once you create a form, and if uh, you can share the link with others, and once uh, the people start submitting using the Google form, you can create, you can link it to an Excel. So all the data that people are submitting using that form, it goes into an Excel file. Okay. So that Excel file is read by this add-on, Autocrat. Autocrat add-on will read that Excel file. And based on if there is a new entry into that Excel file, it will automatically create a certificate and it will also email to the person. Okay. So when we are doing this process, you will get more clarity on this. Okay. So Google form creation and then Google slide. See, uh, I said the Autocrat add-on will take content from Google Excel. So Google Excel does not have images. It will only have text or links, but not images. So what it does is it takes the text content from Excel and it takes the design from Google slide. So it will integrate both of them, create a PDF and then mail it to the participant. So that is what the add-on basically does. Okay. And it emails it. So we will look into various options there. And then uh, we can also check whether our uh, process that we have created, whether it is properly functioning or not, before we actually send out the form to public or the JCA members or whoever it is. So the uh, we also need to check whether the function is actually, or the process is working perfectly or not. So I'm going to take you to this process. Uh, just give me a minute, not minute, just a moment. Yeah, now can everyone uh, see the uh, Google Chrome window? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It is good. Okay. So this is the Google Chrome window. So what I'm doing is uh, I will go into one of uh, the Google accounts, which is more or less inactive. So let us see this here resources. Okay, so here when you go to Google, uh, I'm sure many of you might be knowing it already. So if we, we have this uh, um, icons on the top right, uh, where you can explore the other other Google tools, Google apps, basically. So where you will get to know all the different Google apps, you can access them from here. So from here, I will be going to Google Forms. Okay, so one is Google Forms I'm going to use. And the second one I'm going to use is Google Drive. So I'm going to open both of them. So I have opened Google Forms and then I have opened Google Drive. Okay. And then uh, I'm going to create my Google Form. So suppose before uh, my suggestion is to, even before you create a Google Form, create your template. What kind of certificate you want? What kind of fields you want in that certificate? For to save time, I will just show you one template that I have created. Yes. Sorry. Yeah, is, is this visible for everyone? Yes, sir. Certificate of participation. So if you see this, this has different components. So I have put a logo, I have put basically the background image is a different uh, certificate image. I will also show you, I, I, I will share you a link where you uh, I have put in around 25 different templates. 
so that uh, you can download whichever template you want and put it in your uh, PowerPoint file. And then I have placed my logos and then I have placed text. I said certificate of participation. And this is to certify that a salutation, uh, Mr. or Mrs. or whatever, and then full name. And then what is the content? Has attended training on automated certificate creation and mailing organized by JCA Vaidag on so and so date through Zoom. So this is how I want my certificate to be. You can design in other ways also. You can make it much more detailed. You can include like, suppose if you are going for a quiz, you can also include the percentage that the person got, such kind of things. So even you can go into that much of detail. Uh, that is uh, up to us, how we, how we do it. So once I have created this, uh, and uh, like I mentioned previously, uh, when you are including fields, ensure that uh, you are uh, taking a little care of names, especially because sometimes some people have very lengthy names. So suppose if I'm putting the names in this particular line, uh, salutation, full name, and if the person's name is, let's say 40 letters, and if he type, if I type uh, 40 letters name here, it will go into the second line. So ensure that you put proper size so that even if there is a bigger name, it will fit in that specific area. So that is the only thing uh, that is a little difficult uh, here if you want to manage it properly. So otherwise, I'm, I'm putting it as a separate entity here. Instead of it, I can also put it within this. Let us say, uh, I will show you in the Google Slides. Okay. So once this basic template is there, I can save this PowerPoint, like you can see it is uh, on the top, it says certificate, certificate template PPTX, which is a PowerPoint file. So once the PowerPoint file is ready, what I will do is I will just drag it into my Google Drive folder. So once I drag it into the Google Drive folder, just let me do it quickly. So as you can see in the Google Drive folder, now my certificate template has come here at the bottom. Okay. But when I click it, what will happen is it will open in Google Slides. So once it opens in Google Slide, you can see the difference, right? The font, it has changed completely. This was not the font that I put in the actual uh, PowerPoint slide. Similarly, even the salutation full name, and you can see that uh, the line below that, it also has extended to the second line. So my suggestion is initial template you create in your PowerPoint and you import it into Google Slides, that is the Google Drive. And once you open it in the Google Slide, you make all the final changes, how you want your certificate to be. You make all those final changes here on Google Slides. So I want the line to be in a single line. So I have just reduced the font size a little so that it came into a single line, okay? And uh, this particular, and uh, there is a difference between certify M and um, this one, Autocrat. So if it is Autocrat, you have to, uh, like I said, uh, we have this concept of, uh, uh, just a minute, merge tags. So merge tags is nothing but whatever things have put here in the brackets, this particular format is called a merge tag. Each one of it is called a merge tag. In case of Autocrat, this has to be between these symbols, the greater than and small than symbols. So whichever fields you want to be automated, you have to enclose it in these this uh, specific style. Okay. So similarly, I also want the date. 
So instead of date, I'm just mentioning here. Uh, yeah. So now I, uh, I will later on show you what happens if I include now. So I have said salutation and I have said full name. Suppose I want salutation to be a little smaller. I will just make it a little smaller. I can make the name a little bigger. Uh, I don't want it too big because if longer names are there, it will go beyond the page or it will come to the second line. So this is how my template is done. Okay. So certificate of participation, my content. And I have three tags here. So one is salutation, one is full name, and then one is now. So I need to capture salutation and full name from the Google form. So now I will create my Google form. Now I know how many fields I have to include in the Google form so that that information is again pulled into the Google slide. Okay. So I will create a new form. So let us say, Sample. I'm just putting, just save time. Okay. And then uh, the first one is I want the salutation from the person. So I will include salutation and I will make it a short answer. Okay. I'm not going to explain options of Google form here because that will uh, take a lot of time. So this, I want to be a mandatory question because I want this information for each and everyone. Similarly, the second one I want is full name. So that also I will make it mandatory. So this is the simple form that I'm going to use for this explanation. So now uh, the form is ready. Now what you have to do is, uh, just a minute, I have to get the link. So first time when you are going to install this add-on, it will ask for permission. So I will share this link uh, in the chat box. This is the add-on link. So once you go to your Google, if you go to that link, you will come across this add-on, Autocrat add-on, or you can see that it is from Google, Mar Google Workspace Marketplace. So this I already installed in my account, but I want it in uh, SA resources because I'm using SA resources now. You can see that it is not installed and I'm going to JCA resources account. So if I click on install, it will ask me the permission because it is going to access some of my content from my Google drive and uh, Google slide, all that stuff. So once you give the permission, it will be installed. Sure, what's the issue with this? So maybe it works with only primary account. Anyways, I will showcase it with uh, my uh, primary default account. So default account, I already have uh, it installed. So what I do is uh, I will go to my account and showcase you how it will work. So the form I can still uh, create here. Okay. Yeah. So once the form is created, I can pull the responses. If I come to responses, I can, you can find an Excel button here. If you click on that Excel file, it will create an Excel, Excel file with all the responses. So I'm creating that. Okay. So this is the Excel file. So this is the Excel file. When somebody fills the Google form and submits it there, uh, the data is going to come into this Excel file. Just uh, let me try from here also if I can get that done. So, yeah, autocorrect. Yeah, probably because I'm using multiple accounts here, it might be accepting only for the main account. So that is why it is not happening here. Anyways, but still we can make it work. So now if you go to Google Drive, what happened is along with the form, you, along with the slide that we have added, you are also getting to see the sample as well as the responses Excel file. 
So this responses Excel file, I will also share with my personal email ID because that has autocorrect access. So editor send. Okay. Now I have to move to my personal account. Yeah, so this is the Excel file uh, which we have seen there. Okay, so this file is open now. Okay, whether uh, your extension, AutoCRAT extension is installed or not, that you can uh, check here. So if you go to extensions in your uh, Excel file, that is uh, the responses file, you see that you don't have AutoCRAT here. Whereas if I go to my account, my personal account where I have already installed it. I, if I go to extensions, you can see that we have AutoCRAT here. Okay. Till now, uh, does anybody has any queries? If you have any queries, uh, you can put it in the chat box or you can unmute and ask so that I can clarify that and then I can go further. Sir, doubt. Chapande, yeah. Sir, Adi Ipudu, you could have response on a Prasthan zero zero on a cut, sir. Oh no. Okwellman and Google formula, Arena Filche Kunda, direct Gamano Ikada, E. Excel sheet Lamano Filche, the reverse law Google formula update Otunda. Lay the Google form key reverse law, Ella Depu. Google forms Lavana submit chest, they are responsible to Postunante. Postunante, okay, okay. And ante okwell gan ka manki Excel form fill lawal ante we should ask them to fill that Google form mandatorily. Ante ante we should not give the link for Excel file. We should give uh, we should give only the Google form link only. Link only. Okay, sir. Okay, clear, clear. Okay. Any other queries till now? Okay. So let us go ahead with the actual part now, which is uh, the crucial part. So as you can see, sir, uh, the actually, yeah, chat box yeah. of question chin, sir. Okay, how can we connect with JCA resources to this? Uh, Sudan Chagra, I'm not very sure. Can you uh, unmute and ask maybe? How can we connect with JCA resources to this? You need not connect with JCA resources. Basically, you can do it with your own Gmail, with your own Google account. You need not connect with JCA resources. I am just using that because in my Google Drive, you will find a lot of files and I have to search uh, this file from that. That is the reason why to showcase the demonstrate, it would be easy if uh, the Google Drive does not have much, uh, many number of files. That is why I'm using that uh, specific account of JCA resources. Hope that uh, the query is answered. Any more queries? Okay. Yeah, thank you. So once you go into your uh, Google Sheets, the sample responses sheet and you go to extensions when you go to extensions there is autocrat once you launch autocrat so in the bottom you can see that it is working so and then this window comes where it will show you what are the processes that are already there linked to this excel file so autocrat it works on the Excel files that are there on your Google Drive. So you can do it for uh, something that is an output of a Google form, or you can create your standalone Excel file, a separate Excel file, and also use the same approach. So for both of them, it will work. Okay. But, it, but because here we are looking at someone submitting something and based on that certificate should be auto generated. So there is no manual intervention involved here. Only thing is we are creating the process so that that automation can happen. So once you open this, you open the extension, you create, you click on new job. Okay. So once you click a new job, it will ask for your name. Uh, so I am again putting as certificate generation. You can put whatever name is okay for you. Next. So now what will I, it, what it will ask is it will ask for a template. So this template you have to choose from your Google Drive or you can create your own example. As we have already up uploaded our uh, um, PowerPoint to Google Drive, you can select that. So here you can, if you see at the bottom, uh, I have already AutoCRAT certificate template. 
So this is the same one as I have showcased just a while back. So this is similar to this. I have just made a few changes that also I will show you. So I am going to click on use this specific template. So whichever template you want to use, you have to select that. Suppose I am, it is not being showcased here. I want to use directly from the drive, then click on from drive. It will show the latest files that you have accessed from your drive. So you can see AutoCAD certificate template. I'm selecting that. So once you have selected that, it you can read that it is say, it said fetching tags from the template. So what the add-on does is it will go through the template and see how many tags are there and it will pull all that data. So if you go to next, it will show all that. So in, in my case, uh, the Excel file that I have created the, sorry, the PPT that I have created previously, it has all these data, LO, city, country, salutation, full name, etc. So just quickly, what I will do is I will just change this a little, uh, the form. Okay. Okay. Instead of it, uh, just let me cancel it. Sorry, because that uh, template was not happening. That's the reason why I have to open the actual thing and then change these things. So here, what I'm doing is I'm just removing this LO, city and country because that's complicating things a little. I just want to keep it simple. So now you can see I have only two tags here, salutation and full name. Now I do the same thing again, new job, uh, select, uh, Autocrat certificate template from my Google Drive. Sample here. Next. So use this. So now I have only two tags here. So it will take only two tags in the next step. You can see salutation and full name. So now what you have to do is from here, you have to link this with what is the in the Excel file. In the Excel file, you can see I have salutation and full name. So where I have written a salutation. The data from this column should come. So I have to select salutation column here, which is it has already done. So this is the advantage when you put the tags as well as the column names as same. So if you put tags and uh, the field names, basically salutation and full name, they are same. You don't have any complications. If you put a different field name, then you have to select that manually here. Okay. So for salutation, I need the data from this column and for full name, I need the data from the third column. So I have selected both of them. So I will click to next. And then uh, this is a setting where you can also rename the file names. Suppose the file, uh, the certificate that goes to the participant, if you want it to be named in a specific way, you can also do that. For example, one more advantage here is whatever fields that are there in the slide, they are also shown here. So timestamp, salutation, full name, today and now. Today and now is nothing but today will give you the date. Now will, will give you date as well as time. So if you want to include the, the present time, suppose whenever the person has submitted, if you want to include that in the file name or somewhere else, you can use now. If you want to include only date, you can include uh, this specific tag. And similarly, you can also include salutation and full name. So the, uh, once you click on this, it will get copied. So that is the only purpose of having it here. This is basically to copy those tags. Suppose I want, uh, suppose I am, uh, I am filling this uh, form and I want the certificate file name to be written as, uh, okay, Mr. Ravikant certificate. So what I have to do is I have to just copy the salutation. I will put it here and then I will full name. I will put here. So it is being copied to the clip, uh, clipboard certificate. Okay. That is just to keep it simple. Suppose if you want to add uh, a tag to it, let us say now. So I will add now also. So now when you get certificate in your email, this is the format that you will come in. Now, once I show you the output, you will get to know it. So type is Google slides because we are picking it from the Google slide. And uh, the preferred mode is multiple output mode. I haven't explored what is the single output mode. Uh, 
so as of now, I'm going only with the multiple of move mode. So destination folder, where you want all the uh, certificates to be saved. So you have to select your Google Drive folder where you have to, you want to save all these Google, uh, sorry, created certificates. So already I have created one folder called Autocrat. So I will select that Autocrat folder and select and click on next. So again, this dynamic folder reference is also a complicated thing where you can select a specific folder based on an option that person has submitted. So I'm not going to touch this. I'm, I'm going to put it simple. Uh, so we are not going to touch this specific option. And set merge condition. So again, this is again something like you can add a condition. So suppose if you are creating a quiz. So when you create a quiz, you will also get scoring also as one of the column. Suppose I want to generate certificates to only those participants who have got more than 80%. In that case, I can add a condition here where I can mention, I can select uh, scoring here and mention uh, it should be more than 80%. So such kind of uh, things. You can also screen here. You can also do that screening using these options. Okay. And then whether you want to send the mail or not, if you don't want to send the mail, then uh, there is no purpose of this session. So we want to send the mail to, so you have to select yes. Yes, we want to send the mail. And how you want to send it? We don't want to send it as an edit editable document because we don't want to share the, typically a certificate will also have a uh, email signature and all. So that is the reason why the best thing is you have to share a PDF. So if you share a PDF, that is best because not uh, many people can edit it. So allow collaborators to reshare you. There is, this is depends on your own uh, choice. If you want additional people uh, to access the Google Drive folder, you can uh, do that or you can just click on no. Okay. And then this is the content, how the participant will get mail. So one is you have to capture email ID, uh, which I didn't do. So when you are capped creating a form, you also need to capture email ID. So what you have to do is you also have to create one more field, which says email. And this is a required field. And you also have to validate that. And I'm just selecting text. It is an email. So email is also now captured. But now what happens is email has come here. But because we are already in the process, email won't be shown here. Uh, what I will do is I will just quickly do all the process that I have done till now quickly. Okay. So cancel my job. Maybe you can just quickly have a look at it. Next. Already template is selected. It is fetching the tags. And then I'm going to next. Uh, it, the mapping is already done. So I'm going to next file name and just copy pasting the same thing. Next destination folder, I'm going to select Autocrat, select next. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, dynamic folder reference, we are not doing that. We are not setting any conditions. Share doc, yes. I don't want it. And then I'm going to select PDF. So here, now you can see, I'm also getting email here. So you copy that, you can post it here. Now that will be sent to email ID that the person has submitted. So this is the subject. So whichever way you want the subject of the mail to be, you can put it uh, that way. So let us say certificate from JCI YZ. Uh, let us say, I'll say autocrat session. You can put it as long as you want. And you can add your uh, customized text. Let's say, dear, I want it to be a little more special. So I will say, dear Mr. Full name. Attached is your certificate for workshop. Something like that, whatever content. You can put it as long as you want. And uh, your links also will work here. Suppose connect to us at uh, 
So this is let us say a social media handle and the let us say thanks and regards. Team Jesse Avisa. Okay. So I have created the content, how the mail should go, whom, whom it should go to, and what is the content and also the file name also we have added in the previous step. Okay, I will go to next. So then here you have to choose run from trigger, run on time trigger, but we will be choosing here run on from run on form trigger. Form trigger is whenever someone submits a form, that is whenever the Excel file is updated, automatically the certificate will be generated for the latest data and the certificate will be mailed. Okay. So you must enable triggers. So do that. Click yes. So once the triggers are initiated and they are enabled, we have everything ready. So there is no next option. You just have save option. So just save it out. Okay. So our process is done. So now what you have to do is you have to send this form to your friends or members or whoever. So just go to send. There is a link option here. If you click on this, you will get the link. If you click on copy, this link will be copied. So I'm just copying it. And what I'm doing is I'm just opening it in a new tab so that I can submit something. Okay. So salutation, uh, let us say Mr. Or because we are JCs, JFM. Yes, Ravi can't ready. And I am going to submit my email ID. I will submit SCI resources 2018 at gmail.com. So once I submit, you can see that sample has been submitted. And uh, of course, this you can customize it. If you go to here uh, in the responses, sorry, in the settings, you can uh, think, yeah. So here you can mention what kind of uh, response uh, you can uh, you can customize your response how you want to respond. But there you can mention uh, just a minute. I think yeah. I don't know where I there should be some option for that. There it is. Anyways. Uh, let me come back to you, but uh, let me show the process. So if I go to my email ID, uh, because I have submitted JCA resources email ID, I have to go to that. So if I go to, you can see that certificate from JCA is an autocrat session. So it's the subject that we have submitted there. It will come as it is. And you can see the content. Dear JFMS Ravikant Reddy, attached is your certificate for workshop. So the link also works, though it may not look like it is working there. When uh, the actual email comes, the link will work. But the only disadvantage is you cannot bold all those things. So the bolding and all you cannot do here. And if you open the certificate, so this is how the certificate has come. So my salutation is there. My full name, it has also captured. So you guys can try it out if you want to quickly submit and see. I'm putting this link in the chat. You can just give it a try. So this is the process involved in uh, creating an automated uh, certification. So, so this is how it works. And one more thing that you have noticed, uh, you must have noticed is Previously, we used to have only three columns here, four columns basically, including the timestamp. But now we have additional columns. So this is these are all created by the add-on. So it has the ID, its own unique ID generated by the add-on. And then uh, if you go to yeah, Rajesh Uti has submitted. So shortly, see, the process has starting now. And once the certificate is generated, it is merging in the background and emailing it. So once it is emailed, the remaining fields also have filled. So now he must be having the certificate in his uh, email. So it, it must have already come to him. So this is how, this is the actual certificate that is generated for Rajesh Vitti. So this is how it works. But as I said, the only limitation is it will allow only 100 per day. 
so no matter how many people submit but if if a person submits a wrong email id it won't go any any clarifications needed for any part rakan kara document naaku private ga vachindi everyone pattern google doc google doc మీకే <laughs> any queries anybody have any queries i, I know I it looks to... yes yes raju yes raju cheppandi yeah idi like mer template format upload chesaru kada adi jpeg format a lekapothe edu ah adi kuda i will show you uh, what i have done is uh, i think yes yes i yeah. so these are the templates uh, so i will also share this link with you so i have also shared the google drive link so this specific folder it has around 25 different designs so what i did is i just took one of the images and then uh, put it in the template so and format I, is jp jpg and yeah jpg basically yeah okay you can also use png so png jpg basically image format okay and my next question is like uh, uh, google doc lo mana vallu names enter chesta kada few may use a uh, right format like caps lock or uh, small letters use chesta kada avanni manamu oka ఫార్మాట్ లో తీసుకోవడానికి అవుతుంది ఆటోమేటిక్ ఈ ఆటోమేటెడ్ లో అయితే అది అవ్వదు అది మనం ఏం చేయలేం ఎందుకంటే ఇట్ ఇస్ డైరెక్ట్ ఫామ్ నుంచి పిక్ చేసుకొని చేస్తుంది కాబట్టి మనం చేయలేం ఓకే సో అది మరి లిమిటేషన్ అది మనం ఏం చేయలేం ఆ ఫామ్ లో మనము రైడన్ కావాలంటే లైక్ ద నెక్స్ట్ పేజ్ లో లైక్ అది క్యాప్స్ లాక్ లో మార్డానికి అని అలాగే నా రైల లేదు ఓకే రైట్ and if in case edana uh, duplicate entries vaste ave avoid cheyadaniki ana chance untadi duplicate entries kuda option ivvaledu it's a simple tool so they didn't put so many options okay. but uh, duplicate any... you can restrict the responses email id ki okay. okate response restrict chestam kada google form lo yes yes okay so that can be done in google doc yeah not, so not google form google form so when yes, you create yes. the google, google form ikkada uh, yes. responses lo uh, yeah limit to one response yes. start for the sign in compulsory oh so it again is your is, is your call whether your participants are convenient uh, if they sign in then you can put that uh, limitation also and next uh, is there any limit and the for the minimum number of certificates or maximum number you can get 100 per day పర్డేస్ <laughs> లాస్ట్ వన్ వచ్చేసరికి ఇది సాఫ్ట్ కాపీ కింద తయారవుతుంది కదా కెన్ వి స్టోర్ దెమ్ ఇన్ అవర్ ఫోల్డర్ టూ ఎస్ ఎస్ అఫ్ కోర్స్ ఇది కదా ఆటో క్రాక్ ఫోల్డర్ నేను అక్కడ సెలెక్ట్ చేసింది కదా గూగుల్ డ్రైవ్ లో సో ఇఫ్ యూ ఓపెన్ దట్ యూ విల్ ఫైండ్ ఆల్ దిస్ సర్టిఫికెట్ షేర్ ఇట్ సెల్ఫ్ బట్ దిస్ విల్ బి ఇన్ ద ఫార్మ్ ఆఫ్ గూగుల్ స్లైడ్ బట్ నాట్ పీడిఎఫ్ మీరు ఆప్షన్ ఎక్స్ట్రాక్ట్ ఉన్నారేమ కదా పీడిఎఫ్ నా సేవ్ కదా మనకి గూగుల్ డ్రైవ్ లో క్రియేట్ అయ్యేది స్లైడ్ క్రియేట్ అవుతుంది బట్ దట్ ఈస్ మెయిల్ మెయిల్ అయ్యేది మాత్రం పీడిఎఫ్ మెయిల్ అవుతుంది అన్నమాట ఓకే సో పీడిఎఫ్ ఇక్కడ మనకి పీడిఎఫ్ లాగా సేవ్ అవడానికి ఆప్షన్ లేదు 
మీకు కావాలనుకుంటే ఆప్షన్స్ లో యూ కెన్ సిసి ఆప్షన్ ఉంది కదా సో సిసి పెట్టుకోవచ్చు మీ ఈమెయిల్ ఐడి మనం డౌన్లోడ్ చేసుకుని పంపించుకోవాలి So this is how you can generate uh, multiple certificates using this tool. I know uh, it might look complicated, but it is not. If you run it properly, it will be easy. It's a lot of time. Sir, one question. Sir, one question. Sir, one small doubt. Yes, yes, please. Now, in this session, just we have seen that from uh, Google form, we are get generating the certificate automatically. Okay. So if I upload my Excel file into my drive, can uh-huh. this uh, if i run the same application then the will the certificate automatically generated let me try it out live suppose ikkada no one has submitted after lakshmi swarupa garu so what i will do is i will just write jfm i'm just trying trying it out i don't know if it works or not okay i think it should work if it works then uh, definitely we can do it but i'm not sure let us see and then a doubt adhika sir already na degra oka koni oka for example nen oka on exam i conduct chesan so for example man nlts exam i conduct chesam last year august lo a students okay. data anta na degra unnadi andlo name uh, father name uh, father name avi man kakkala certificate lo name vallaki nlts exam ku vachina hall ticket number untai so a rendu use uh-huh. chesi nen oka certificate create cheyali ippudu ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ సో నేను ఆ రెండు కాలమ్స్ ఇందులో తీసుకుని సేమ్ ఇదే ఆ ఫైల్ ని గూగుల్ డ్రైవ్ లో అప్లోడ్ చేసుకుని దానికి ఆటోక్రాట్ నేను యాడ్ చేసుకుని రన్ చేస్తే ఆటోమేటిక్ గా సర్టిఫికేట్ జనరేట్ అవుతాయా అవుతున్నాయి ఆల్్రెడీ ఇప్పుడు అవుతుంది ఐ థింక్ ఇట్ ఇస్ హ్యాపెనింగ్ జస్ట్ గివ్ మీ ఫ్యూ సెకండ్స్ yes it is happening so for suppose uh, let us say i am doing the same thing again just uh, give me 2 minutes uh, that also we can do it here i will just showcase to you uh, my query na kartha indi suppose i am creating a google sheet ah correct google okay. sheet which is uploaded so google to... sheet lo i have let us say the same entries but mm-hmm. only these things nothing else ah uh, yes correct okay that is what you want right correct correct sir right so i am pasting the same information here okay. so i am saying this is salutation name and then email let us say city i am just uh, city man ka kada field led ga but it is uh, so i'm going to extension autocrat launch i'm going to repeat the entire process that has that was done and sorry guys you will get one more certificate please bear with me <laughs> no issue sir no problem to showcase uh, that it works so new job and then um, i will use the same template template match just the tags march sir like go go asking the template match template mariste vere certificate sheet 1 okay so salutation match ayindi kabatti direct ga chupedutundi full name match avaledu endukante ikkada nenu name an pettanu so i am selecting name here so i am going to next so file name i am uh, leaving it today i am not complicating it much to save time okay 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 choose folder um selecting autocrat again you can create a different choose a different folder also uh, we are not setting any condition here editable document pdf no and here i have to capture the email so i am capturing email here and just clicking it's done nothing else and just clicking yes in that chapter and other cc could wait coach one calls there so next run on form trigger yes the project triggers run out tonight run i pen tarvata you have to save it okay but now what will happen is as this will work only if you add so up to enchal and you can just use the play button run job so when you click this what will happen is it will recognize all the empty empty uh, all the rows that are not processed yet 
and it will start generating certificates. So it's running the job. You can see that new fields are being created in the back end. I'm not able to showcase to you, but it is being done. So you can see that 11 rows will be merged. That means all these 11 people will get certificate generated and sent to their email IDs. So I will also show that again here. So just now I might have received one. See, yeah, it's done. Okay, okay. With today's so yes, but all that way also it works. Well, then this is so, uh, this this so one after the, uh, yeah yeah this will be very easy then as ante just by mistake or na form fill che ilak po na manon data collect this kuni valki certificate issue che yech yeah yeah we can do it then. yes chaitanya garu you have query ah uh, sir mano if photos add this option evano untunda ante for example individual Kony certificates generate just na puru wala images kora add passport just photos add just some kony certificates. Actually, actually gaye the undi, but I didn't include all that because people might get horrified that in the customer na too. But option is there. You can include images. It can you can also include hyperlinks also. Okay, okay, got it. So customized ga you can suppose let us say I don't know what scenario I can give. I don't know, uh, but suppose you want uh, uh, suppose uh, suppose Sindhuraika Chepper, she wants to give her certificates to uh, LO officers or zone officers or whoever. Suppose I want to collect uh, data from a LOM president. So th this is the LOM uh, and these are the Facebook page, this is the LinkedIn page, this is the Twitter page. So what I can do is I can create, uh, I can include Twitter uh, image, I can include the Facebook image, I can link it to their respective LOMs. So when they click the use the PDF and they click the click it, it will go to the respective long uh, social media pages. Again, that is just some scenario that came to my mind. But depending on the scenario, you can also do that. Understood. Thanks. So the option uh, once this job is done, I can show you where that option is available. I think I can do it here. This is yes. Why not here? Here I can showcase. So autocorrect if you go to launch. I don't know if it works in two things. Two, yeah, it is done here. So if I go here and I can click sample editing. Uh, next, 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 next. Sorry, back. Not here. Folder. Yes. Not here. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Here, if you go to here, you can see that there are multiple things: hyperlink, image, checkbox. Yes. Here, select. Suppose if this is a hyperlink, you can select what is the URL from which field you have to capture the URL, and what should be the label for that specific hyperlink. Suppose we label petle than kundi hyperlink as it is display but certificate mila. Okay. Other if you put the label, only label will show, but hyperlink will be created. Similarly, you can also use image. You can also include image also. Make sure uh, you. Okay, so those options are also here, but uh, I haven't uh, explored that much, and I haven't included it in the session so that uh, it is simple for people to follow. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you. Uh, like if you uh, once uh, Google form open to public type uh, of so suppose if session is to the link if you open participants key open it it's fine but a link if you participants that if you can uh, it can be accessed to everyone so then I'm going security feature pet go like only manam select chasen what you are like anything Google form can Google form can but before sending, is there any authenticity filter? Mana approaches in what can well done? Lay the autocrat like I want to add point for this. Can I, sir? Yes, please. Please go ahead. Uh, uh, same issue, I was also thinking Jaddi Garu, I think in a name on Kunanante, Manamu, bite ever share chest house from it, sir. 
ఈ ప్రాసెస్ అంతా మనమే చేసుకుంటాము ఒక లా ముందు ఒక ప్రెసిడెంట్ ఉన్నారు ఒక ట్రైనర్ ఉన్నారు ఒక సెషన్ ఉంది మనకి మనమే ఆ టైపింగ్ చేస్తాం వీఆర్ నాట్ యునో వీ విల్ నాట్ అలౌ సంబడి టు యాక్సెస్ సో మనకి రెడీమేడ్ గా అంత ఫస్ట్ ఇనిషియల్ టైం పట్టినా తర్వాత యూజ్ అవుతుంది అని నేను పర్సనల్ గా అనుకుంటున్నాను సార్ ఐఎమ్ నాట్ ష్యూర్ దిస్ ఇస్ మై పర్సనల్ ఒపీనియన్ మనకి ఇందాక మనం ఒక స్క్రీనింగ్ చూసాం కదా జస్ట్ ఇక్కడ Uh, when we are going to yeah merge condition ikkada condition lo maybe you can uh, include that additional field that email is there ah uh, ledu it's not there avadu i thought maybe we I can i think mano google form lo ne alante edaina pedithe pettale vara google form i don't think we have uh, such kind of option చెప్పాలి ఐ థింక్ మీరు ఆటోక్రాట్ కి మీరు ఇది యాడ్ ఆన్ గా మీరు సజెస్ట్ చేయొచ్చు అన్నమాట అసెంటిసిటీ ఫీల్డ్ ఒకటి యాడ్ చేసుకోవడానికి ఐ థింక్ యు కెన్ రైట్ ఎ రివ్యూ టు దెన్ యా యా షూర్ షూర్ ఎనీ మోర్ క్వెరీస్ ఎనీ ఆప్షన్ దట్ సర్టిఫికెట్ పిడిఎఫ్ కెన్ బి సెంట్ ఆన్ వాట్సాప్ డైరెక్ట్లీ దట్ దట్ కెన్ బి డన్ అండి బట్ నాట్ విత్ దిస్ సిస్టం ఆటో ఆటోమేటిక్ గా వాట్సాప్ లో సర్టిఫికేట్ సెండ్ చేసే ఆప్షన్స్ కూడా ఉన్నాయి బట్ దెన్ యూ హావ్ టు ఇంటిగ్రేట్ మల్టిపుల్ ప్లాట్ఫామ్స్ ఇంకొక స్మాల్ డౌట్ అంటే ఇప్పుడు మనం మెయిల్ ఐడి క్యాప్చర్ చేసి డైరెక్ట్ గా మెయిల్ కి సెండ్ చేస్తున్నాం సర్టిఫికెట్ అనేది అవును ఒకవేళ గనక అక్కడ మనకి అట్ దిస్ పాయింట్ నేను ఇందాక అడిగినట్టు నాకు ఆల్రెడీ డేటా నా దగ్గర ఉన్నది బట్ నేను వాళ్ళకి మెయిల్ ఇప్పుడు పంపించదలుచుకోలేదు జస్ట్ నేను సర్టిఫికేట్ అన్ని క్రియేట్ చేసి గూగుల్ డ్రైవ్ లో పెడదాం అనుకుంటున్నాను సో అలాంటప్పుడు ఈ సేమ్ ఇదే ఇదే రన్ చేస్తే నాకు ఓన్లీ సర్టిఫికేట్ జనరేట్ అయిపోయి నా గూగుల్ ఫామ్ లో ఉండిపోతాయా సర్టిఫికేట్ షుడ్ బి జనరేటెడ్ బట్ షుడ్ నాట్ బి సెంట్ ఈమెయిల్ ఐడి ఇవ్వకుండా ఉంటే అయిపోతుంది కదా ఈమెయిల్ ఐడి వాళ్ళది ఇవ్వకుండా మందే ఇచ్చుకోవడం నువ్వు పెడతాము సో అప్పుడు మనకు వచ్చిన సర్టిఫికేట్స్ లో మనం ఏవైతే పార్టిసిపెంట్స్ అయితే మనకి జెన్యున్ పార్టిసిపెంట్స్ ఉన్నారో వాళ్ళని మాత్రమే సెలెక్ట్ చేసుకుని వాళ్ళకి మాత్రం మనం మెయిల్ చేయండి సెండ్ చేయొచ్చు అప్పుడు మాన్యువల్ అవుతుంది మాన్యువల్ అవుతుంది కాకపోతే అదే ఆటోమేటెడ్ అవుతుంది అప్పుడు సగం మాన్యువల్ అవుతుంది ఓకే వన్ మోర్ థింగ్ క్యాన్ బి డన్ i'm sorry it is extending those who are done and think that uh, you have gathered the information you you are free to leave because we have some conversation going probably i think uh, i think even ipudu me cheppindi kuda cheyachu i'm not very sure i'm just trying it out that one column left let us say uh, check i'm putting yes 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 So what I'm doing is I'm just selecting a few candidates. I'm just putting yes. Rajesh Garu Nara, okay. So okay, he can confirm if he's getting it or not. So I'm putting launch. So I'm, what I will do is I will just uh, put one more screening option here. So that only people who are uh, 
getting through that screening uh, i'm just trying it out i haven't done this yet so i think it should work uh, ఆర్ఎల్స్ మనం ఇలా చేయొచ్చే మరి అవుతారు లైక్ ఇప్పుడు మనకి బ్యాంకింగ్ వాళ్ళు చెప్తారు చూడట్టు ఒక పీడిఎఫ్ పంపించి పాస్ కోడ్ మీ ఫస్ట్ ఫోర్ లెటర్స్ అండ్ మీ బర్త్ ఇయర్ రెండు కలిపి పెట్టండి అని చెప్పేసి ఒక పాస్ కోడ్ ఇస్తారు కదా సో అలాగే మనం ఈ డేటాకి సంబంధించిన ఒక పాస్ కోడ్ క్రియేట్ చేసి ఇస్తే ఐ మీన్ డ్యూరింగ్ మీటింగ్ చెప్పేస్తాం మనం సో దిస్ విల్ బి యువర్ పాస్ కోడ్ అని ఓవరాల్ గా చెప్పేస్తాం అనుకోండి suppose instead of autocrat i want to select the new folder new i will select next dynamic folder kadu certain merge condition so merge condition lo check degra equals yes so next uh, i can email or shell doc cut the sorry sir yeah yes e dot the clap pe put okay ఓకే సేవ్ చేసి ఐ వి హ్యావ్ టు రన్ ఇట్ అగైన్ బట్ లెట్ మీ చెక్ బికాస్ ఆల్రెడీ ఇక్కడ ఫీల్స్ ఉన్నాయి కాబట్టి వెళ్ళదేమో ఐ హ్యావ్ టు డెలీట్ దోస్ థింగ్స్ అండ్ డూ ఇట్ అగైన్ ప్రాబ్ డింట్ హ్యాపెన్ డింట్ హ్యాపెన్ బికాస్ ఆల్రెడీ ఇక్కడ ఇవన్నీ ఉన్నాయి కదా ఇవన్నీ నేను డెలీట్ చేస్తే దాన్ని డిలీట్ చేసి కాపీ చేసుకోవచ్చు కదా ఎందుకు నాకు అది ఎందుకరా యూజ్ అవుతుంది కదా శాంపుల్ ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ సో శాంపుల్ ఆల్రెడీ ఇట్ ఈస్ దేర్ సో ఐఎమ్ జస్ట్ రన్నింగ్ ఇట్ అవుట్ సో నో ఓన్లీ త్రీ సర్టిఫికెట్ షుడ్ బి జనరేటెడ్ ఎస్ ఫోర్ సర్టిఫికెట్స్ ఫోర్ సర్టిఫికెట్స్ ఆర్ బీయింగ్ జనరేటెడ్ అవుతుందండి so you can also put a additional uh, column where you select whom to send certificate whom to not and you can use that as a screening criteria to generate certificates so ikkada kada ikkada vachunda yeah so once yes it is also yeah or achese or achese niya galeyadu kada vastane okay నెక్స్ట్ మళ్ళీ రావు సార్ డిలీట్ చేయండి రాలేదు నేమ్ తీసుకోవాలి కదా ప్రాబబ్లీ బికాస్ ఇట్ ఈస్ గెటింగ్ డిలేడ్ మేబీ వీ కెన్ ఫార్మలీ క్లోజ్ ఇట్ అండ్ లెటర్ ఆన్ వీ కెన్ క్యారీ ఆన్ అవర్ ఎక్స్పెరిమెంట్ ట్రైనింగ్ ప్రభాకర్ గారు టు ప్లీజ్ టేక్ యూ సార్ ఇట్ వాస్ రియల్ వండర్ఫుల్ సెషన్ టుడే Thank you, Ravikant Garu, for your valuable inputs. We look forward for many more valuable education sessions from you. Uh, I thank all the members for your participation today. And we look forward to see you again with another exciting session soon. Good night. Yeah. We can end the session. We'll be waiting, Ravikant Garu, for one more session from your side. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. We await your participation. Thank That you so much. Thank you so much. రవికాంత్ గారు థ్యాంక్ యూ సో మచ్ అండి అండ్ ఇట్స్ అ సింగిల్ కాల్ అవే లైక్ యు నో 
we had a discussion and uh, this is a big thing which helped many people baundi achara happy anipinchindi so you can ready to have a discussion for one hour or like 45 minutes exclusive uh, input ivadanu kuda ready ga unnaru really inspiring and a flexible and like you know knowledge sharing uh, trainer uh, really felt so happy sir and uh, i'm sure like this session will help uh, many of our jcs uh, in their professions career or jcs support for your sir thank you so much thank you thank you thank you ఇక్కడ చిన్న రిక్వెస్ట్ అండి సేమ్ సెషన్ ఒకసారి ఇన్ పర్సన్ అలాంగ్ విత్ పార్టిసిపెంట్ షుడ్ కమ్ విత్ దర్ ల్యాప్టాప్స్ అని చెప్పి ఒకటి తయారు చేస్తే ఐ థింక్ దిస్ విల్ బి వెరీ హెల్ప్ఫుల్ ష్యూర్ ష్యూర్ యా ఇన్ పర్సన్ చేసుకుంటారు బికాస్ మీరు అక్కడ చెప్తున్నప్పుడు ఇక్కడ ప్రాక్టికల్ గా వీళ్ళు ట్రై చేస్తుంటే ఇట్ మే టేక్ అరౌండ్ త్రీ టు ఫోర్ అవర్ సెషన్ మేబి బట్ సెట్ యాడ్ అయిపోతుంది కదా అక్కడికి ఒకరికి చెప్పారు బట్ నేను ట్రై చేస్తే నాకు వచ్చిందా లేదా అనేది తెలియాలి నేను కానీ మీరు చెప్పింది చాలా బాగా నాకు అర్థమైంది సార్ థ్యాంక్ యూ సో మచ్ అండి ఇలాంటి సెషన్స్ నాకు చాలా కావాలి సార్ ఐ ఐ వాంట్ లర్న్ టెక్నాలజీ అండి న్యూ టెక్నాలజీ నాకు ఇప్పుడు పెద్దగా తెలీదు సో మీరు చెప్పడం వల్ల చాలా తెలుసుకున్నాను ఇలాంటి కొంచెం పెడితే అలాంటి వాళ్ళకి యూజ్ అవుతుంది సార్ థ్యాంక్ యూ సో మచ్ అండి నేనుకంటే <laughs> 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 రవికాంత్ గారు ఇది చాలా షార్ట్ నోట్ వన్ అవర్ టెక్నికల్ సెషన్ ఇస్ రియలీ హ్యూజ్ ఇన్పుట్ బట్ మీరు రికార్డింగ్ షేర్ చేస్తున్నారు కాబట్టి దాన్ని అక్కడ ల్యాప్టాప్ లో పెట్టి వీల్ ఆల్సో ట్రై స్టెప్ బై స్టెప్ ఐఎమ్ షూర్ లైక్ విల్ బి గెటింగ్ బెనిఫిట్ అవుట్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ అండి యా షూర్ షూర్ అండి యాక్చువల్గా ఐ మీన్ నేను సెషన్ పెట్టాను కానీ బట్ ఇఫ్ యూ యాక్చువల్లీ గో టు యూట్యూబ్ అండ్ టైప్ దిస్ థింగ్స్ దర్ ఆర్ ఎన్ నెంబర్ ఆఫ్ వీడియోస్ సింధురాయ్ <laughs> sir uh, it it is like we were uh, really thrilled uh, when we received our certificate with the name when the uh, session yes. went off like chivarla adoka chinna feel sir human touch ki ano if somebody telling like you know doing from there is totally different alage mana jeddi programs raj gar cheptinattu evarina lom lom host chesthe physical ga interested unna vallandani like mana oka venue chesi chesthe chaala adbhutanga undaru sir and it will really useful all jcs personal professional whatever స్వరూప గారు చెప్పండి స్వరూప గారు ఐ థింక్ డిస్కనెక్ట్ అయినా ఓకే ఓకే యా ఎనీ మోర్ థింగ్స్ వి వాంట్ టు ట్రై ఆర్ షుడ్ ఐ క్లోజ్ ద కాల్ వి ఆర్ ట్రైయింగ్ సంథింగ్ నో బట్ జేసి వైజ్ ఐ గెస్ గోయింగ్ టు హోస్ట్ దిస్ ఫిజికల్ ట్రైనింగ్ ఇట్స్ ఓకే अदरवाइज ఎక్సెలెన్స్ ఇస్ రెడీ టు హోస్ట్ దిస్ సెషన్ విత్ హిజ్ నాకు అర్థమైపోయిందండి మీ మనసులో మాట జడ్డి గారు నాకు వెంటనే అర్థమైపోయింది మేక్ అవర్ జాబ్స్ మచ్ మోర్ ఈజియర్ ఈవెన్ జీమెయిల్ లో కూడా దెర్ ఆర్ మల్టిపుల్ థింగ్స్ విచ్ వీ కెన్ యూస్ యాజ్ లాంగ్ ఆఫీసర్స్ టు మేక్ అవర్ థింగ్స్ వెరీ ఈజీ బట్ 
uh, then we have to have some platforms where we can share these things actually the best practices is to share all the anni loms lo we do some good good things but we don't share it outside or there is no platform where we share such things uh, good good practices and if we mutually share we all will become more efficient so maniki time migultundi aa time we can put it on community projects or trainings or whatever yeah. so i have a few more doubts and more and discuss yes. yes please i'll call you tomorrow okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay thank you thank you everyone sabhi ka thanks pe the na sabhi ka garu main wo aaj link lo google uh, google form par uh, late ka fill kiya sir nenu maagada maaku email e motion ka ledu ante tarvata manam id edit chestam kada andukemo avuna till next session next session na huh? okay tarvata idi uh, test cheyadam kosam edit chestam kada so anduku okay. No, okay, no problem. Ravi Guru, for us, when we think about JCA training, the first name comes to our mind is yes, Ravi Kanthar. So, I mean, you you have been so inspiring, and they actually, you know, when it comes to training, uh, and our JCA author, in Tarwata, oh, can they do these many things to JCA family? And maybe I I think I have learned it from you. I'm so so happy. so yeah. keep connecting lot of uh, events and rajgar annatlu if we can do it in the form of a workshop sure sure inka koncham effective ga untundani anukuntunnan sure sure definitely yeah thank you thank you thank you thank you rajgar thank you Good thank night. you guys thank you everyone uh, so it's already 8:35 8:37 so let us close so hope to see you guys again in uh, another training some other thank you Thank you. 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 Th